Hi guys, Mike Greer here, and I'm going to show you how you can use Instapaper to save web pages, blog posts, online articles, pretty much anything from the web to read later offline or to have available as a reference tool. So what you're looking at right now is the Instapaper homepage. This is what you're going to get if you don't have an account. So it's simply instapaper.com. And as you can see, once you connect with Instapaper, they will enable you to place a read later bookmark on your browser and you click that read later bookmark and it will save the document that you're looking at to your Instapaper account so you can access it later from your iPad, your Android tablet, your smartphone, whatever you're going to be using. Or you can also send these out to uh, ebook readers or read them later on your computer when you get the time. So. Let's check it out. Okay, so what you're looking at here is my Instapaper account on Chrome. And what I'm going to do here is to start out by showing you how to get that bookmark we talked about. So you click on Extras up there at the top. See that? And up comes the Read Later bookmarklet. So it simply says, take this and drag it up here. I'm going to put it right in front of Google Keep. And now that's available to be used to capture pages to send over to Instapaper. So I'm going to now go to my NetVibes account. Now I had an earlier video all about NetVibes and how you can use it to aggregate your custom feeds or on topic areas that you want to keep up with or are blogs that you want to keep up with or websites you want to keep up with. So let's say here I'm skimming down through my NetVibes feeds and I find Oh, here's one that looks good. Eight pro tips for Evernote power users. So I click on that and I'm going to expand that article, open the original one by going up here and clicking. And now that entire article is available. Okay, you can see it's all there, but I'd like to capture that so I can read it later. And so I click my read later and it says saved. Okay. So I'm going to close that window. I'm going to snag another one from my long forms area here. Let's say longform.org. Now, once in a while, it's good to read an in-depth article. And in fact, I, I learn a lot by looking at these long reads, long form, Atlantic Monthly articles. So let's say here's an in-depth journalism article called How Laura Poitras Helped Ed Snowden Spill His Secrets. So I'm going to click on this to open the original article. And up comes the entire article. And I also, you notice that uh, I have the opportunity to save this in readability. But right now I'm just going to go ahead and open it the whole way. And I go to the original New York Times article, pictures and all. Lovely in-depth article. As you can see, I'm scrolling down through here. This thing really goes on and on. Long forms is a good way to challenge your brain once in a while to go beyond a 140 character understanding of something. So I'm going to click read later on that. And it took a little longer, you notice it said saving. OK, so we have a couple of choices here in the way we interact with these articles that we've saved. You can click on the article title and go to the original version. Since you're online, you can you can do that. So it's it's sort of like a. It's saving it for you. I'm going to click the back arrow. Or I can click text here. So here's the text version of my article just saved as text. Okay. And there's some junk at the bottom because it didn't feel, figure out how to, to deal with that. But mostly it's got all the text and the information and the links are there and they're clickable. So I'm going to go back again to the Instapaper. We're going to look at all these in their stripped down text form through the web browser. So there's Laura Poitras helped Snowden spill his secrets. And I'm clicking down through there. And you see, that's a very clean looking from the New York Times, that long read. And look over here, the arrow is just going on and on and on. I mean, that's a huge article. And once again, I think you should challenge yourself once in a while with uh, some long reads. Going back, and we see that with uh, eight pro tips for Evernote users, it's stripped away 
extraneous information as well, except the graphics. You Notice know, there's key graphics there that were outlined and, and so forth. So I'm just flipping through that real fast. So I know that my Instapaper account snagged these and I'm ready to use them offline. Now you see some folders here I've already set up. I have these categories of folders. I can add a folder, I can edit the folders, and I can I can move these things to a particular folder as well as delete them. I can go here and share them with people and and just do a lot of things from this particular web browser. But that's not what I want to do. I want to leave this computer behind. I want to pick up my tablet or my smartphone and I want to really kick back and read these articles at my leisure. So I'm going to show you how to do that by showing you what I find on my Android tablet. So stay tuned. Okay, so what we're looking at here is my Asus Transformer Android tablet. And what I'm doing is clicking on the Instapaper, which I've already downloaded from the App Store, the Instapaper app. Press that app. And you can see that some of these are downloading, syncing right now. One of them is there. And there's the four articles that we just put in, the eight tips for Evernote power users. Let's take a look at that and see how it looks. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I've got my settings here to sepia tone. Um, I find that a little easier to read. There's some icons up here. We can change the font. We can use different backgrounds change the size, the distance between the lines, and so forth. We can also click the share thing and move it to a particular folder that we've already set up, or we can make folders here as well. We can open it in the browser if we want to see the original article. And we can put bookmarks in. So, looks pretty good. I can also simply click the trash can right here and wipe it out after I'm done looking at the article. So. Let's go back to, let's look at how Laura Portress, how that article looks. As you can see, it looks pretty good. And again, the pictures are put in place. And this is all set for me to look at whenever I'm ready offline. So, good stuff. I By pressing here also, I can clip. Notice I can select. It allows me to select excerpts. So if I wanted to share this quote and was building an article, let's say, and I wanted to share this quote in my Evernote account, I could simply click here, create note, and clip from it. And there it's been snagged to my Evernote account. So, so we can do a little work with picking text from articles and so forth. So notice our folders are available, the read later. The general miscellaneous that things are saved in is the read later. So other folders are available. So for example, home maintenance. I've, I've been doing some work on trying to figure out whether we should have termite extermination or not. So here's some articles on termites. So I can be an informed consumer when I get my uh, termite extermination done soon. So there you have it. To get started with Instapaper, go to instapaper.com, set up your account, then take the bookmarklet that's available there in the extras, add it to your browser's toolbar, then download the Instapaper app for your smartphone and your tablet, in fact, all your devices, and access that Instapaper account whenever you're relaxed and have the time to spend reading those longer articles. Or build your own custom collection of reference documents or study materials that you can get at any time. So, Instapaper, another great free power tool that's out there for self-directed learners and researchers. Enjoy!